Okay, we have a projectile question, and the question states that an object is projected from the ground into the air at an angle of 35 degrees to the horizon. If the object is in the air for 9.26 seconds, at what velocity was it thrown? So this is a little bit different than other projectile questions because it asks for the initial velocity of this projectile. So what I did was I drew the diagram. So here's a diagram of the projectile uh, at an angle of 35 degrees, the initial velocity is what we're trying to determine and we're given the overall time. What we have to do whenever we have these projectile questions is very important to separate this into two parts. If I can get my pen working again. So what we want to do is we want to divide into two equal halves of the projectile. So therefore in order to travel here you know what, let me change the color to blue. So if we are trying to determine the amount of time traveled by the projectile for the first half all we have to do is 9.26 seconds, the total time travel divided by 2, which will give us the value of 4.63 seconds. And the reason why we want to do this is we need to determine the vertical velocity, the y component of this projectile. So what we're going to do is this. So the initial velocity, i, y, is what we're trying to determine. And remember, at the top of the arc of the projectile, the final velocity of y will be equal to 0 meters per second. And we know the time, which we just figured out, is 4.63 seconds. And acceleration due to gravity is going to be negative 9.81 meter per second squared. Negative since, we're, uh, since acceleration due to gravity um, is in the direction of the downward direction. Okay. So if you look at the kinematics equation, the formula that's going to have the initial velocity, the final velocity, time, and acceleration will be this, where acceleration will be equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity over time. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to isolate vi. Okay? So first step is I'm going to multiply both sides by t to get rid of that denominator. So that gives us AT is equal to VF minus VI. And next step is I'm going to add VI to both sides. Add VI and I'm going to subtract AT to both sides. So this will cancel out and the ATs will cancel out. And what we'll get is we'll get that VI, the initial Y velocity, is going to be equal to the final velocity minus acceleration times time. So now we'll substitute all the values. We know that the final velocity at the top of the arc was 0 meters per second minus the acceleration due to gravity which is negative 9.81 meter per second squared multiplied by the time which is 4.63 seconds. So when we plug that into the calculator the initial velocity in the y component or the vertical component will be equal to 45.4 meters per second. So now, since we have the y component, now what we can do is we can actually determine um, the answer to this question. So I'm going to draw the triangle of that projectile. So, so here's my right angle triangle. Not very straight, but we'll have to do. Uh, the angle of 35 degrees. We know that V I, y is equal to 45.4 meters per second. And what we want to do is we want to find V, which is basically our hypotenuse for our right angle triangle. So opposite of adjacent, I'm sorry, opposite of a hypotenuse will be sine. So we say sine of 35 degrees is equal to 45.4 divided by V. Therefore, V, by solving V, we get 45. 4 divided by sine of 35 which gives us <coughs> the velocity of 72 sorry whoops made a mistake there just erase that which gives us 79.2 meters per second. Therefore the initial velocity of the projectile 
which is projected at 35 degrees, is 79.2 meters per second.